Ladies and gentlemen, great Americans, thank you. Thank you. We've got a big one tonight, folks. Something you're not going to believe. I've heard a lot of things in my life. Tremendous things, fantastic things. But let me tell you, this one's a little different. We're going to talk about a guy. Sebo, now you might be asking, who's Sebo? Believe me, you're going to want to hear about him. And I've got to tell you folks, he's not a winner, this guy. Total disaster. Now, I don't usually use this language. I'm a classy guy, okay? But there's no other way to say it. Sebo is a fucking cunt. Some people might say, oh, Donald, you can't say that. But I can, and I will, because it's true. Sebo, he's the kind of guy who talks a big game, real tough. But when the heat is on, what does he do? He rage quits every time. It's embarrassing, folks, and it's sad. They say he's like a monkey, folks. And believe me, it's not because he's swinging from trees. No, no, it's because when he plays this game, this game called Dark Souls 3, you've heard of it, great game, really difficult. A winner's game, but Sebo, he's like a monkey smashing his keyboard, can't even handle it. He dies once, maybe twice. And then what does he do? He rage quits. Can you believe that? Just quits like a total loser. He's done it so many times, folks. It's a joke, a bad joke. You know, some people, they play games on Twitch. They stream, they talk to their fans, and they have fun, real winners. People who keep going even when it's tough. But not Sebo. Oh, no. He plays, he dies, and then it's stream over. Done. Rage quits. Shuts it down, just like that. And I've got to say, folks, it's pathetic. His viewers are probably sitting there laughing. They say, there goes Sebo again throwing a tantrum. I mean, can you imagine? What a joke. He quits Dark Souls, but then what does he do? He switches to Tekken 8. Can you believe that? Tekken 8. I mean, come on, folks. It's a fighting game. He thinks he's going to jump into Tekken 8 and somehow redeem himself. But guess what happens? The same thing. It's a total disaster. And folks, after Rage quitting Dark Souls 3, Sebo thinks he can just switch over to Tekken 8 like nothing happened, like that's going to fix everything, right? But let me tell you what happens next. His viewers, they see it. They've seen it a hundred times before. One by one, they leave. They're gone. They don't stick around for the rage quitting circus. And before you know it, he's sitting there all alone, streaming to zero viewers. Zero, folks. Imagine that a guy so bad, even his own fans can't stand to watch him anymore. Pathetic. You know why, folks? Because Sebo isn't a fighter. He's not a winner. He's a quitter. Whether it's PK in Dark Souls or throwing punches in Tekken, it's the same story every time. Loses one match, blames the game, and just quits. And people watch this guy on Twitch. They probably tune in just to see when he's going to rage quit next because that's what he's known for. Sebo the quitter, no resilience, no fight, just pure defeat. It's sad, really. And, you know, folks, the liberal media won't cover this. They won't cover this. I know why they don't cover it, because they don't want you to see the truth. They don't want you to know that guys like Sebo, who rage quit, who give up, who can't handle losing, they're the ones they protect. They make excuses for them. They coddle them because they don't like winners, folks. They don't like people who fight and succeed. They're afraid of real strength, afraid of real competition. That's why they won't show it. So, folks, I just want to say, if you're ever thinking about Sebo, remember this. He's not a winner. He's a quitter, a fucking cunt, and that's the truth. He's a monkey who can't even finish a game without throwing a fit. And when it gets tough, when life knocks him down, what does he do? He quits. But America doesn't quit, folks. We never rage quit. We fight, we win, and we keep going. Thank you very much. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America.